Okay, so we're going to be looking at another topic within the uh, Pythagorean theorem, and it has to do with finding the distance between two points on a graph. In other words, how far are part point A and point B on this graph? Well, we're going to look at it a couple different ways. Okay, one, if I take a, uh, uh, a compass and I put it on the graph over here like this, and I rotate it up here and get this all adjusted correctly. Uh, that that's the distance I'm trying to find, right about there. Okay, and then uh, here's the question: What if I move it down to here? Can I tell how far this is? Well, let's see here. Um, it looks like it's two, four, six, eight, nine. I don't know, you want to say it's 9.9 .9 or something like that? So let's just say, for now, our estimate is 9.9. .9. Well, we're going to figure out how, how far that is here pretty soon. But I want to show you something here that, uh, that that's going to make this um, come along for us a little easier later. Let me get rid of this uh, thing here. And I'm going to uh, also get rid of this so that I can uh, just move this thing around here. If, uh, if I put this up here, it's pretty easy to tell how far apart they are, right? We could just count the, the, the spaces. And same thing over here. If I put it over here, it's pretty easy to, to count uh, how many spaces it is and just see what's the distance. Well, I want you to look at something uh, here. What if I have, uh, forget that, let me just put this back here and I'm going to get rid of the grid. Okay. What if I didn't know from counting how far that is? Well, you might remember that this thing was, was set up so they're horizontal. So I at least know this is true. And suppose this is a distance of 9. Okay. Well, now I can tell how far apart they are because I can say, look, this one has a distance of 2 to the right. This one has a distance of 9 to the right. So all I have to do is just do 9 minus 2 and get the fact that these two points are 7 apart. Okay. Well, if I, if I were to clear all that and say, what if the point's up here? Okay. Straight above there. Well, now... I know that this is 2 because if this one and that one are straight up from each other, then because this one's over 2 and that one's over 2, okay, then, uh, then I, I, I know this has got to be a 2 right here. What if this is, say, a, a, a 6? Now let's make it an 8. Okay, suppose that's 8. Well, now I can tell that the height difference here is 5. How do I know that? Well, that's a height of 8. That's a height of 3, so if I just did 8 minus 3, I can get the, uh, the difference in, in height. Well, we're going to use that when we find uh, the distance between these two points when they're set up like this. First, I want to point this out. This point right here is straight below that one and the same height as that one. Okay, let me say it again. It's straight below that one and the same height as that one. So let's find out what its coordinates are. Okay. This one, this point here, has a height of 3. So that one's got a height of 3 because it's the same height. This point right here has a distance to the right of 11. So that one's got a distance to the right of 11 because it's the same distance over. So here's the deal. I know that that distance right there can be found by just saying, look, 11 minus 2 is 9. Okay, And this distance right here is 3, no, 4, excuse me. Um, and I could count that, or I could say, look, that's a height of 7, that's a height of 3, so 7 minus 3 is 4. Oops. Wow, got lost. Okay, is four. 
So here's the thing. I was supposed to find this distance right here. Okay. And that red distance is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And I know the two sides of that right triangle. Okay. One side is 9, one side is 4. So I know that 9 squared and 4 squared, that's the, that's the length of the two short sides, added together has to get me, if that length is C, it's got to get me C squared. Okay, not C, C squared. So that's 81. We're doing exactly what we did before. That's 16. So C squared is 97. Okay, well, if you remember what we did before, we found the square root of 97 to get C, and that makes it about 9.8. Now, remember what we estimated? 9.9. .9. Not bad. Not bad. So what we did was we uh, we used the Pythagorean theorem, but we had to do a little bit of work here to figure out what that distance was and that distance. So let's do another one on a graph. First, let's well here. Let's make the graph bigger. So we'll uh, we'll just say suppose this is the point three five. And this is the point, let's see, uh, 3, 11, and then 8. So I'm supposed to find this distance between the two of them. From there to there. Okay. Well, I know that this distance, or the, this point right here, it's the same height as this one, so it's it's got a 5 here. It's the same distance over as that one, so 11. Okay. Now, let's find that distance. Well, 11 minus 3 is 8. Okay. Let's find this height. Well, 11 minus 5 is 3. So now I've got two sides of a right triangle, and I can write, using the Pythagorean theorem, the two short sides squared has to equal the long side squared. So this is 64. That's 9. That makes this 73. Which means the distance is the square root of 73. Let me find that real quick. Uh, 8.5. So now I was able to find that distance without actually getting a, a, a compass out or, or that kind of thing. And here's the deal. What we're going to be able to do is say, suppose I know some point is uh, 3, 11, and some other point is 9, 15. Okay. I don't even need the graph. I can say, look, I know this point right here is the same height as this one and the same distance over as that one. Okay. So now I can find these two lengths. That distance is going to be 9 minus 3 is 6. This distance here is going to be 15 minus 11. That's 4. So now I can find this distance between the two of them by coming over here and saying, look, the two short sides are 6 and 4. Square those, add them together. That gets me the square of C. So 36 plus 16, that is 52. And that means C is the square root of 52, which is 7.2. Okay. So what I'm doing here is just finding the, uh, the two... Uh, the two sides here, uh, you know, the, the horizontal side, the vertical side, and then using the Pythagorean theorem just like I did before. Well, it turns out I don't actually need to draw this thing. Okay, let me say that again. I don't have to draw it. All I've got to do is remember this. To get the lower short side, 
I subtract the x's. Okay. To get the vertical short side, I subtract the y's. Once I've got those, then I can go through and, and find the distance by squaring those two numbers, adding them together, and then square rooting. So suppose that you give me some, some uh, uh, point here, 4, 5, and 9, 8. Okay. I can draw all this, or I can say, look, forget that stuff. Let me just let me just take this point here, put it up there, this point, put it up there. I don't even have to have them on the graph, because all I was going to do was get the lower side by subtracting the x's. So that's 5. I was going to get the upper side by subtracting the y's. That's 3. Okay. Now, I'll square each of those, add them together, and that should give me the length of the, the diagonal side. So 25 plus 9 25 plus 9, that's what, uh, 34. If we square root 34, we get that length, 5.8. Okay. So what we're doing every time is the same thing. We get one of the sides by subtracting the, the x's, the other side by subtracting the y's, and then we just do the Pythagorean theorem just like before. So suppose you give me some wacky point like negative 3, 5, and 4, 16. Okay. Well, I don't have to put these on the graph. I can just say, look, subtract the x's, 4 minus negative 3. That gives me the lower side. Subtract the y's, 16 minus 5. That gets me the upper side. Okay. Then what I'll end up doing is squaring each of those and adding them together and square rooting, okay, just like I did before. Okay. So I'm going to use that same pattern every time. Okay. Let me put another one up here. Suppose you give me 6, negative 8, and 14, 3. Once again, to get the lower side of the triangle, I would subtract the, the x's, 14 minus 6. To get the upper side of the triangle, I would subtract the y's, 3 minus negative 8. Okay. Then I would take each of those and square them, add them together, and square root, just like I did before. Okay. So what you end up seeing is what they call the distance formula, or sometimes even the Pythagorean distance formula, where they write it this way. They say, suppose you've got two points. One of them's x1, y1, and the other one's x2, y2. And these ones here and the twos there, those are just like little name tags. They, they tell you that this one and that one are different things. So we're going to do the same thing. To get the lower side, we'll subtract the x's. To get the upper side, we'll subtract the y's. Okay. Then we'll do just like what we did before. We'll square each one of them. We'll add them together. And then we'll square root. So this is what they call the distance formula. I think what a lot of teachers do when they make a mistake, they teach this badly by just putting the formula up and say, here kids, put all these numbers in here and calculate the answer. And to me, that doesn't make any sense. And so I'd rather teach you, here's what it means, and then have it show up as a pattern in your head. Okay? So we'll see a few more of those for right now, or later on. But for right now, I just wanted you to see it.